I decided to bring my lovely husky to the guys at Peregrine to have a little of a clean up after my expedition yesterday. So I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a factory tour around at Peregrine and show you some behind the scenes stuff. Hi everybody, my name is Stephen Cabern, I'm the owner of ProGreen and I'm also the formulation chemist of all products developed by ProGreen. Well, I've decided on the name Brandon, um, it's how it came about is when we done the trials, um, each week uh, we had a different colour and after 19 weeks we finally got the finished formulation. The last colour was actually Kawasaki Green, the colour it is today. So I named the company ProGreen because I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Entering the market as a number one product was it was really difficult um, in in the first four in the first four years because it had taken four years to gain the trust before the product had established its foothold. Um, the, I'd done so many trackside events um, in the first four years to gain the trust of the product. I knew how good it was, but people needed to use it to see how good it was. And I was lucky uh, in the first year if I was making the fuel money to get home. Um, and that's, that's what it was like entering into that market where there's a lot of other products, but mine is better than the others. But the proof was in the pudding, so I had to get people to try the products. And the only way to do that was to get to the people, which was trackside events week in, week out. Over, over the last five years, it, it, it took four years to get the trust. Once we gained the trust, uh, what I mean by trust is people using the product and, and, and telling their friends that they're now using ProGreen. It, does, it cleans the bike beautifully, it doesn't destroy it. The product never looked back. The first four years, my other two companies were funding ProGreen to get it off the ground, up and running. After four years, the product and the company became self-funded because we gained the trust and the momentum has not stopped. It's just expanded and expanded and expanded. Uh, since that period. into the warehouse and where we do the manufacturing. So you come through here, uh, out through the office, this is uh, uh, the program stock area, which is normally a lot fuller than this, but it's going out faster than we can make it. <laughs> and then around here, like I said, this is the warehouse where we stock a lot of products with business beginning packing. And then go through to the manufacturing side. So in here is where we do all the manufacturing of the products and it's where we stock everything as well, uh, raw materials etc etc. Mm -hmm. um, this is our bottle village area, so we're going to get bottles off, uh, labelled and packaged. Mm -hmm. so this part of the warehouse is uh, we manufacture, once we manufacture all the products we then put them into IBC so we've got plenty of stock, so we'll continue manufacturing and fill in and bottling up at any one time. Um, and then through here, uh, this is my lab. Now this is where everything stands in my lab from the very beginning to the end. Um, and this is my this is my favourite room. It's also it's my most frustrating room. So when I'm actually in this room, not, I can't be disturbed. So this is completely where everything starts with ProGreen? Absolutely everything from start to finish. Uh, uh, research and design, development is all done from the very scratch from here. Uh, samples are made here all the way through to the 
finished product. Um, and that's what this, this is. This is this is my man cave. This is my lab. This is where my passion is in this room. Question is though, have you got a white coat as well? <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I have a white coat which is periodically changed every week, <laughs> uh, and I do keep it white. Um, um, but I bought myself a brand new one for this video. Did you? <laughs> I thought it was a special treat, so I might as well put it on. That's it. So you can see me in man coat. <laughs> as a rule, when I'm in this room, I always wear a white coat because there's a lot of pigments and dyes, and trust me, they get everywhere. <laughs> in this room, this is this is where I'm at my most. And again, this is where my passion is, is in this room. Everything starts here, everything finishes here. I'm just very passionate about the chemistry that I develop from start to finish. Um, and I only make quality and I only use quality high spec raw materials and all products that I manufacture. So seeing as we're in the brain room of ProGreen, um, what inspired you to start it? Well, ProGreen, I actually, I started ProGreen because a, a local friend of mine who's been in motocross for over 30 years asked me to develop a product for him, a bike cleaner for him. Uh, originally I said no, but as time went by, he pestered me so I, uh, he pestered me to make it. However, he said he was going to set up his own bike cleaning company mm -hmm. and he will buy it by the, in volume by the power. So, of course, that was enough for me to then move forward. Okay? Um, so I spent six months uh, perfecting the formulation for them, for the person to remake uh, on um, what he wanted to do. So I then decided, after six months of research and development and making something special, I decided to move forward and make the product myself. And that's what I did. And this is where we ended up. And now so, we've got ProGreen. <laughs> right, we're going to head over now to our filling station. Um, this is where Ian uh, will show you how we do all the filling. here when ProGreen started, um, which was many years ago, uh, just part time, um, I used to cut the labels with a Stanley knife because they were too big for the bottles, and then uh, I went away to uni, uh, did that, and then unfortunately um, my mum got sick, so I came back to Coventry and that's when I come back, so basically yeah, I was at uni doing business marketing. Yeah, I was a, uh, I was a football coach, um, so that's what I did from from school through to sixth form through to through to uni as well. Um, so kind of a Mickey Mouse degree, but you know you get you get the piece of paper. Um, and that's that's what I did for about two years um, after uni, working full time, um, coaching at a performance academy. Um, and then we basically looked at having the three companies. You know, Steve couldn't do programming on his own, um, so that was then it was a case of here you go, run away with it. I think we wanted to focus it on obviously being a premium product, being salt free like that is our main number one priority is helping people look after their equipment whether it be a bike or a car but then we also wanted to be like a cool brand, like a brand that people look at and think I want to use that, not just something that you see in a shop and think I'll give it a go, we want people to want to be part of our brand. Yeah that, that was the main thing, I think you know the quality in the products was always there um, you know, obviously from day one, the journey that he's kind of been on to get the brand established and get the trust. And it was about how can we then basically increase 
um, everything that we do and that come down to you know the look of the brand obviously everything from the marketing side of things how the how the products looked um, you know maybe new products coming on board um, but yeah it was all about working with obviously um, you know bigger profile riders and teams you know that wanted to be a part of what we do um, you know that that was the main thing that the quality products were there um, it was then enhancing the look and everything around the brand so that like Chanel says you know it's a brand that everybody wants to be associated with try and get through the day <laughs> <laughs> without killing each other yes no we just want the brand to be as big as it can be obviously more people we reach out to the more people that get to look after their bikes and cars and last a bit longer obviously we want this to be our lives so we take it really seriously and we want to see pro green grow and grow into new countries and new places and just see where the journey takes us really. Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, it, it's been a lot, of, a lot of work to get to where we are now. So it's about making it, making it kind of worthwhile in the long run. And we've got the products. It's about, we want everybody that cleans their bike to be using our products um, because they are made for them and their bike in mind. The rebrand. Yeah. The rebrand was definitely, I think, I'm fair to say a joint big achievement because yeah. it was a year's worth of work. It was when we took over Pro Green and we decided to change the look of it, keep it up to date, and we went through loads of different designers until we found out that we're sticking with our original designer. Um, and it was a lot of ideas, a lot of planning, a lot of, a lot of late nights, um, a lot of writing up and translating. <laughs> Um, but yeah, by far, I think that was our biggest achievement, seeing it all come to life at the Dirt Bike Show a couple of years ago. Yeah, that, that was it. It was, you know, it was a lot of work. It's from, you know, you're not just thinking about changing a label, you're thinking of obviously a new logo. Everything that you do has to be changed. Um, and I think that was where, you know, we needed to, to make some improvements. Um, but we found, you know, our, our web company that does everything. We literally went into a first meeting with them. The logo was already designed on the table before we done it and it would just grew from there but you don't realize how much actually goes into everything from a branding perspective um, and yeah it's been a it's been a massive achievement um, you know we're proud of obviously how far it's come you know the rebrand has allowed us to obviously increase everything that we do you know the riders and teams that we now work with um, you know everything just kind of ups a level every year which is what you want to see with the work um, but I think you know we've had so many achievements obviously um, you know the amount that we're now distributing to Europe um, you know the plans to obviously go venture out further um, and obviously some of the riders and everything that, that we've worked with you know we've had Paul Jonas using our arm pump product you know we've had many of the world championship riders obviously Tommy Searle we're now working with the Bill Base team it's been you know a, a long road but it's certainly been worth it. I don't normally look like this. <laughs> So what is it like working as a couple at Pro Green? <laughs> um, <laughs> some days are easier than others. Um, we work pretty segregated, um, so we don't spend every waking hour a minute with each other. But a whole build in between us. So yeah, we have a build in between us. Our communication skills are awful. So we normally find out bits and bobs actually from other people that we work with rather than from each other. Which is never my fault. It's always his fault. His communication <laughs> skills are terrible. We were going to get him a t-shirt with people skills written on it at one point as a cue from our distributor. Um, but it's okay. Uh, we get it by. Um, it's productive that we have the same dreams because we can move forward together instead of having two totally different directions. Um, yeah, I think yeah. Some, some days are easier than others. Do you mind? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, I'm Matt. I'm sales manager at Progreen MX. Uh, I deal with all your distribution, stockists, speaking to shops, um, doing little bits and bobs that. Um, Brad has too much of a workload, so I help him out. Um, the idea for me coming in was to give them a little bit more relief so they can concentrate on the bigger picture. Um, I've spent childhood, obviously young adulthood, uh, racing motocross, various club championships, um, until family life and injury took me away from the sport. Um, and then, yeah, stayed away from the sport, you know, family things come first um, and then now I've luckily got my little boy who loves motocross um, and then gradually got back into the sport. I was using Progreen MX products before I worked here, before I knew Brad and Chanel um, and then Brad spotted my truly design so here at the gym 
and then he, he sold me the dream job a year before I'd actually come here. Um, so it's a, it's a breath of fresh air to work for a company where I know their products are amazing and to be passionate about what we do. So actually, I don't really work anymore because I'm in a trade that I love and I'm combining obviously my sales skills at the same time. That's gonna be like your little intro bit, so Yeah, okay. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Hi, my name's Steve. Oh, I've got to do it again now. I've never talk, I can't talk like that. I just, I just want to be me, but it's, it's hard. I'm from Iowa. Uh -oh. I'm from Texas. Right, if you can almost squidge together just a little bit more if you can. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you had a little claw with it as well. I know, Sit down, the hand is going. Hi! <laughs> wow! <laughs>